Nine years after qualifying as a midwife, Sarah has had enough. She's handed in her notice, worn out and disillusioned by a role she once loved. We've changed her voice and name to protect her identity. The job at the moment feels soul-destroying because the feeling that you get when you leave the shift is a mixed emotion of exhaustion, of sadness and stress. But not only that, you feel like you've finished your day's work and you've not done a good job. You've not given the care that those families deserve. She says staff shortages mean that too often midwives are having to step into roles they have no experience in and are regularly expected to do the work of three people. That compromises the care that you can give to women and their families, but also it compromises you as a midwife in terms of your professional responsibilities. She's not the only one leaving the profession. The Royal College of Midwives says there were 677 fewer midwives in England in April than at the same time last year. That's on top of the existing shortage of 2,000 identified in 2021. But the government is aiming to hire 1,200 more midwives and 100 consultant obstetricians in a £95 million recruitment drive. The Midwives Trade Union thinks that plan misses the point. We really welcome any new money into, the, into maternity services because, boy, do they need it. But actually, we're in the position at the moment of pouring water into a leaky bucket. It's not recruiting midwives that is the problem. It's retaining the ones we've got. In November, thousands of midwives took to the streets in vigils, warning maternity care services were at breaking point. Since then, it's only got worse. Now there's growing momentum for strike action. But for Sarah, the decision has been made. She's no longer willing to stay in a job where safety, she says, is being compromised on a daily basis. Emma Birchley, Sky News.